Hello, everyone. Welcome to Finding the Voices to yet another series of 1001 Pagachari, a gratitude project for Manipur. Today, we have a very, very special guest joining us uh, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, from the United States. She is none other than Santi Thokchom. So I'm going to get her to ask that. Hello, it is Santi. Welcome to our show. Hello, hello, Monica. Nice <laughs> to see you again. Yes, it is Santi is coming back once again, uh, back as a guest speaker. It is Santi had uh, told us very interesting, exciting stories in the last the last time we spoke about your travel. Just to give a brief introduction, uh, Ichisanti is a nursing assistant in a nursing home for the elderly. And she says, I am just an ordinary and hardworking woman. But I think you are extraordinary, Ichisanti. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So to start the show, I know I introduced a little bit, but let, uh, you know, uh, why don't you share a little bit more to us. Okay, by the way, I'm Shanti and my father is Tokchom, so I like to use my surname as Tokchom, Shanti Tokchom. My mother is Cookie. Anyway, I'm already in my 50s. Okay, I did my schooling in Nirmalabha school and completed my high school in Adimjati. And after high school, you know, I just thought. As a uh, ba in baby KG school for some some time, and then I joined the nursing in Assam, Jorhat. After I completed, I went to Mumbai and worked there for seven years. And then I worked hard and helped my mom, dad, and my sister's brother. And then some good uh, Punjabi family sponsored me to come to the U.S. And since 1999, I'm here, and I'm glad to be on your show, Monica. Thank you. And um, before we start the show, I would like to thank you. And just for our listeners, um, Ije Santi is a person who has really supported Finding the Voices behind the scene in bringing and balancing the diversity uh, of the guest speaker of our show. And thank you for introducing me to all the wonderful uh, guest speaker from the tribal community, bringing out the voices and making our show complete. It is Santi Puthagachari. Me too. Thank you so much. All right. So to start with our uh, main core of today's uh, talk, um, let's focus on gratitude and share our expression, pause and um, you know, talk about uh, people around us uh, who impacts our life. So the first question is gratitude for a person who have contributed uh, or who have impacted you at the personal level. I would say it's my mom. Um, she brought us up all, you know, in a hard way. She was not educated. Um, you know, I got her mental strength, you know, in all kinds of crises we went through when we were small, I could see it. And I get her mental strength from my mom. Not only my mom, every mother in Manipur, I should say, they work very, very hard. And it's a big salute to my mom. Thank you. I should say it's gratitude goes to my mom for being my, mentally tough. Thank you. So um, tell us a little bit about your mom. So here I have a picture of your mom. And I'm assuming the baby is? My son. Your son. <laughs> Yeah, and you look so much like your mom. <laughs> that was my son when he was six months old, his first trip back to Manipur. And the other lady on the other side is my history teacher in Adim Jati High School, R.K. Sanatongbi. I'll never forget any of my teachers. And those are very big, big women who have impacted my life. And my mom, she grew up in Bizang village in Churachanpur. And my dad was, uh, both of them were not educated. Uh, my dad is from Kalk, and both of them got married and they had us. And, you know, I got the good and the bad side of both parents. You know, my parents, they belong to the old set of thinking. But, you know, I leave the bad and take the good. And um, 
about my love for traveling um, definitely it should go to my dad because my dad always told me uh, this this you need to know all this so i he inculcated me a love of reading newspaper and my mom i get her mental strength that's how i was able to withstand any kind of crisis while i was in bombay because there was so much racism going on there mm -hmm. but i said if my mom is so strong i can meet any crisis in life so that helped me a lot thank you <laughs> so it's the strength you took from her and you know like which has helped you in your life yes yes yeah that's so awesome that you know how we can um just remember some of the moments from somebody close to us and we can go through the hardest time in our life and kind of you know crawl up from the dark phase and uh, come up and uh, be strong again yes uh, of course my parents always used to scold me for playing football you know soccer they say it's a, a boys game uh, but you know in my heart i loved it but my mom she knew i love to play football but you know she kept telling me hey we are not uh, you know we are not rich you need to finish your education and do something in life so she egged us on to do well you know she didn't have enough money to uh, provide us private tuition or anything but we worked hard and so we managed to pass the metric exam late in the 80s so i'm very thankful to her for all this and uh, despite every hardship, we are able to survive till this day. Thank you so much. Yay! So it is Antigi Mabu Thagachari. All right. So before we go into the next question, I just want to acknowledge uh, everybody who is watching us. And uh, let me just take a moment and go through the comments we have received. All right, so I can see Nikki Chandam saying, yay, hello, it is Santi, happy to see you live. Hey, Nikki, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and also we have Urvasi Devi Chongtham saying, watching. So, yeah, I love this hey, app where, you know. Hello. We, <laughs> yeah, we can actually um, communicate and hopefully in future um, shows, you know, we can take in questions with the guest speaker. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's so exciting, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's get back to the core of our show and get getting back. Uh, the next question I have for you is gratitude for a person who have contributed for Manipur. When I was in Bombay, I mean, at that time it was called Bombay, um, I really came into close contact with our Manipuri players, football, hockey, and most definitely the women hockey players from Manipur. I was very close friends with them. I ate with them. I joked with them. I, I encouraged them to speak English. All of them were very hesitant because they didn't speak English, only Hindi. I said, hey, Bema, you have to speak. So these girls, uh, Pakpi, Sangai, King Gongs, um, Suras Lata, and many others like Manorama and everybody, they are very great. And, you know, I should say they, they were the uh, forebearers of Manipuri women uh, bringing name and uh, fame to other places. You know, uh, these women, they won the Commonwealth Hockey women's final in 2002 and i'm so proud of them uh big big thank you goes to them you know they brought our name and fame and in bombay wherever i work i could tell the people hey did you all know india india won the women's hockey team finals those are girls from my hometown so i'm very proud of them all i'm so proud of them I know many people uh, name Maricom as the Maricom came later, but these women were before them, but they are in no way uh, inferior. They did their job of bringing Manipur into the map. Thank you. I love them all. If you're yeah. listening, Pak <laughs> Sangai. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And I'm so thankful that uh, you uh, nominated them and brought to our attention on the 2002 Commonwealth uh, game where India won. And, you know, of course, a lot of contribution by the players from Manipur. 
So let me uh, share a couple of pictures which we got from the internet. That's okay, this is, That's okay. Yeah, go ahead and share your comments, you know, as I go through the picture. Yes. And those are the team, the whole team. Yeah, That's I love this Surya picture. Shata. Yeah, the, their story was based on the Hindi movie Chakde India. That's some uh, Suraj Lata, the camp, the captain. Right. That's awesome. I know. I love this picture. Yeah, it was very good. And look at that's this another Suraj Lata. Suraj Lata. Yeah, that's Suraj Lata, <laughs> the captain. And uh, this is the, yes, Suraj Lata, the captain. Yeah, this is one of a good profile picture. Yeah, so I did uh, yeah, I look did up just, on look them, up on and them. thanks to you for uh, you know bringing. Uh, my attention about them and I spent some time today to look up in the internet and uh, read about them. So this is uh, one of the article. I just want to share a clipping. Um, the any life dot in um, what they have shared. Manipur has been the powerhouse of hockey in the Northeast. It has produced most of the players who have earned accolades at the national and international level. Manipur has also produced numerous women hockey players. In fact, the national women's hockey team has more players from Manipur than the national men's hockey team. Indeed, Manipur is the land of jewels. So I thought that was, you know, a good, good sharing from the media. And uh, about Suraj Lata, uh, she is the former captain um, of the Indian, India's women national field hockey team. And she has participated in many, many, many of the games. And I was quite amazed, you know, in in all her achievement. Yes, yes, she is very good. Very down to it, all of them. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, is there anything else you want to share with us from your close interaction and oh. personal, uh, you know, since you were together in Bombay, we would love to hear about them. <laughs> Yes, we had lots of fun. After coming back from my job, uh, I, mean, I used to work a 12-hour shift. So whenever I come back, I go drop by these girls. They stayed in the railway quarters, so they would cook Manipuri foods. And that's how we always laugh and share jokes, you know. Uh, this, uh, they were all together in one, uh, I think it's Matunga or Santa Cruz. Wherever they are, I would go. So... <laughs> Yeah, when I go, I would always tease them. Come on, speak in English. They would. They said, "Ikai jai, ikai." I said, "What ikai ba? You all are all big, big stars now, and you are still ikai ba. Uh, I don't care about that. You have to speak." So they would speak with me, and I really love them. You know, they are all younger to me, so I can tease and pull their legs. So till today, we have close friendship with these girls, and I'm so proud of them. Yeah, and see, I <laughs> yes. got more uh, pictures. That's Sangai. That's Sangai. I, yeah. I met her in uh, Mumbai last year, and we uh, reminisced all the long, long time back memories, and we had great fun. You know, we, we all do hala gula, and it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, um, yeah, we definitely want to have them in our show and I'm hoping that Richa Santi as always would yeah. help us uh, get them in our show. <laughs> I will, I will, I'll bring them all. <laughs> uh, they yes. are too shy, they are very shy but I have to egg them on. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll get them all on board, don't worry. That's awesome. So it's a brief learning about uh, the hockey uh, players from Manipur, bringing a um, name for Manipur, um, you know, putting a map in India, uh, introducing that to the world that, hey, there's a place called Manipur with so much of talent. So thank you, team of hockey and, you know, all the players. Uh. All right, so moving on, um, let's go to the gratitude for a person at the global level who have inspired you. Oh, I should say it's a Pope Francis because his ideals are similar to mine. Very down to earth. I love him since you know he was elected. He he don't he don't travel in you know the papal vehicle or anything. He he takes the bus and he loves soccer, football. 
like me so <laughs> i really love him and he goes to places where you know people other people don't even dare go and he is very very much my hero papal pop francis i can't even see properly on the screen yeah there he is yes i mean last year i went to uh, rome i was in the hope of seeing him but <laughs> they announced that he was gone to armenia so i was very sad i was uh, i was willing to even you know stand for 10 hours to just see him wave out to the crowd just to see pop francis at least in my life but at least i went to see uh, the saint basilica church where he used to do the services so i should say i have seen him not in person but the place where he is right now thank you <laughs> awesome so how is he different from your perspective uh, than the previous uh, pops uh the previous pop they were very luxurious he is a people's people's pop i should say anybody can approach him you know he comes from argentina and he loves soccer that's one big point for me <laughs> 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 and uh, he he has big followers of you know everywhere even young people any anybody and he can bring a lot of change to the world and i have seen him in a, when the president of the united states went to rome to meet him he was i i really admire the way he handled him i was thinking there would be fireworks but he handled him well <laughs> so so many things i can't put it all in few words i should say he is a people's person so very close to my heart thank you awesome so you follow his uh, speech and uh, work uh, yes. okay all right thank you for sharing all right so before we move on to uh, the last part of our show uh, which is the free format to encourage the art of expression i want to take a moment and share a comment which we received uh, for our previous show of uh, 1001 thagachari all right so let me bring up the picture and here it is so we got a comment from dr jukendra sarakhaibam excellent conversation very proud to know there are forward thinking children with concern for mother earth and girija ningthal kongjem is very articulate best wishes to her for her future political life as she will need a lot of her speaking abilities great job again finding the voices manipur yeah so i got very excited to see that uh, dr jukendra sarakhaibam listens to our show i'm a big fan of him and he is referring to uh, our previous episode um, which i'll bring it up shortly and here it is so yeah this is our episode where girija was sharing about uh, you know her gratitude and she was really articulate so for all our listeners you know do take the time uh, to watch our previous show that's great yeah i know yeah, i know also we got a new comment and i'm going to share that it's from Ningthal Kongjem Satyajit and he says please invite parents of Shanti we would love to hear what they have to say so <laughs> we have to get your parents uh, back to our show uh, sorry my dad passed away in 2007 only my mom is left and i don't know if she wants to come on the show or not. i'll ask her oh <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry about your dad, but I'm sure, like you know, he listened to you and your words, and we would love to have her. You know, it would be really uh, nice to hear her story oh, about being in a mixed a marriage and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Yes, we. Uh, my mom has gone through a lot. Um, I don't blame because you know people grow up belong to those times. You know, people are uh, not much aware of all this, so. my grandma was very much against my mom and dad's marriage because you know uh, in the meite we have the among a saying and all that but uh, if we look at it it she belonged to a different generation that's what i would like to say 
but um, we have moved on and it's more progressive Manipur now, I hope. I hope many people, I, I'm sure there are so many interracial, intercommunity marriages everywhere, and many have made a very, very successful uh, marriage out of their marriages. So I should say, you know, um, I mean, I took the, I can learn, I can speak my mom's language, both my dad and my mom's language. So, you know, it, for me, it doesn't matter. My dad allowed us to follow any religion I want. So he was very liberal. So I should say, both my parents, I love them. Um, I wish I could bring my mom on, on, but you know, I have to casual her and you know, beg her and all. She don't want to be on camera. But if anybody wants to meet, you can go to New Chekun and meet her. My dad is no more. So thank you for watching. Yeah, no, it'll be awesome. You have to really, um, I guess, coax her to share her story because, like you said, um, you know, during her time and maybe even now, like we do have, uh, you know, segregations and a lot of uh, this intermarriage issues in Manipur. And I think her story would really help uh, see from her perspective. Yes, that would help. There are many other uh, couples who are um, into inter-community marriage. So, you know, I can bring, help bring them on your show if you want. I'll have yeah. to do my job. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's move on to the last question that, um, you know, for you to share anything on any t topic. Oh, there are lots of topics. So I, well, let me start with my travel. That's my passion. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a bucket list of travel destination. Remember on your show, I told you I wanted to go to see the World Cup soccer. Yeah. I, cr I crossed that off my list. I went to Brazil. One was to go see the Euro soccer 2016 in France. And I did that. Um, I tried to invite friends and others, but you know, they say yes, yes. But at the last moment, they always back out. Anyway, I, it didn't deter me. I started planning ahead. And since my son was in a boarding school in India, I worked two jobs to keep myself busy and my mind occupied. And I went ahead and started my plans to go to uh, Euro Soccer 2016. I tried to invite so many, you know, they were either too scared or too intimidated to take the, uh, pick up the step. But I worked at two jobs you know, sometimes seven days a week. And then some some of the shifts I work, I work like 16 hours, five days in a row because I wanted to uh, cross off my bucket list. And finally, I was able to get two tickets for the 2016 Euro soccer. I couldn't get the semifinal because it's a very, very uh, popular game in Europe. I could manage to get only two tickets. So I went from Tulsa. And then whenever I plan a trip, I always look at, you know, surrounding places where I can visit. You know, I can't travel every day. So when I travel, I make a list of countries to visit. So last year I made that trip and I went to France and I made friends, invited me to come visit them. And so when I reached Paris, um, my luggage was delayed because of the storm tornado in Tulsa. My luggage came after four days, but that didn't stop me from doing what I wanted to do. I was in Paris. I stayed in a hostel uh, two days. So I went on a, a walking tour. Um, you know, my luggage had not yet come. I, I travel with backpack, so I don't need a lot of stuff. So. I went with the same clothes for two, three days. I went up the Eiffel Tower. I went, but it was raining, so it didn't matter. And after the, <laughs> I, I complained to the airlines and they were very sorry. So they asked me where they could send my uh, luggage. I mean, it was just a backpack or small bag. They sent it, when I reached London, my backpack had not yet arrived. I already, uh, reach Paris, finish all my touring and everything. I went to London. Still, my backpack was not there. But, you know, it didn't stop me. I went ahead and washed my clothes and dried up with 
hair dryer in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I made do with that. And when in Paris, it was very expensive, but I survived. I, I stayed in the youth hostel and they provided a uh, basic breakfast. So I packed up some sandwich for myself and carried the uh, empty bottle to fill water everywhere I go. That saved me a lot of money, you know. So that's how I travel. And then from there, I went to seven other countries from uh, Paris to London. I wanted to experience the English Channel, you know, that train, the underwater mm -hmm. train. I yeah, travel yeah. from, yeah, yeah. yes, from Paris to London, two hours. But when you reach the channel, you don't even, uh, uh, you're not even aware that you're going under the English Channel. It's on a 20 minutes ride. But I was, it was a very much big life experience, you know, lifetime experience for me traveling in that train inside. I didn't mind because I work hard. When you die, you can't take your money with you. So, you know, I work hard, <laughs> but I travel. So and your when policy I reach, is you want to experience, uh, you know, yes, experience, and experience and travel. That's something, yes. you know, you, yeah. Okay. Yes, because if I travel, I get to see places, I meet people, and my mind is broadened. You know, if you stay in one place, your mind is small. You don't know. You, you, you stay where you are. I'm not shaming anybody, but that's just me. I work hard, but I travel under my means, within my means, where I want, when I want, if I want. No, <laughs> Nobody that's tells awesome. <laughs> so I, I'm not into materialistic things. I don't have a house. I live in an apartment. I wear thrift store clothes, shoes, and everything, but it doesn't kill me or hurt me, you know? <laughs> Even this pee, somebody gifted me from Manipur. <laughs> <laughs> So I travel and from London to Croatia. In Croatia, I had another Manipuri lady. She's married to a Croatian. So I made friends. We, me and her, we, uh, we made plans and we went to Austria. In Austria also, we had one Manipuri, you know, from Chandel. So, you know. Right. Uh, so yes. wherever you go, you are connecting with uh, so two this, people from Manipur and... Uh, 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 this, uh, <laughs> in Croatia, I, I have never been to Croatia before. You know, I, we always heard news about Croatia, Yugoslavia during the Kosovo War. And this uh, lady from Chandel, Hannah, she's married to a Croatian guy. So she was very happy to see me because uh, on her own, she would not go anywhere. But since I was there, we made plans and we connected with this brother in Austria. He's from uh, Chandel too. He's, <laughs> his name is Aboy. He's married to an Austrian nurse. So we met him. We stayed at his place and he took us to Munich, Germany. And it was good time for us. You know, wherever Manipuris meet, we eat. <laughs> 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 ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So that's the bond. That's the right. bonding. Yes. We w when we reached Austria, uh, Hannah cooked a uh, bamboo shoot and pork and big pot, Dexty, you know, and Dexy. a boy, yes, since a boy hasn't eaten in a long time Manipuri food, that was our, our best aha moment. We ate and ate and ate and talked so much. And the wife told us, you guys enjoy. I'm so happy to see my husband so happy. So we ate all the <laughs> Manipuri food, you know, Amit Pangari and all the wives said, you all do what you want. I'm so happy to see my husband happy. That's <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Go ahead. Yeah. Along the way, you know, I meet friends and I always make an effort to uh, drop by and meet them, you know. So that's awesome. <laughs> so that means a lot of people from Manipur are all over yeah. the world. And yeah. I want to share a, a quick comment from our listener. Uh, Dr. Nabakanta Sharma is listening right now and <laughs> he comments Hello. about you. Uh, He's the one who travels a lot uh, in USA. So apparently all uh, many people do know about your love for your travel. Uh, all right. So, you, yeah. So tell me about um, the New York parade you had uh, participated. Oh, that we managed to gather two from Nagaland and some 
some of us from Manipur, so we were very happy to represent Manipur in uh, in the India Day Parade in Manhattan. Imagine in Manhattan in the Midtown New York, we were representing uh, the Northeast. So many people were very surprised. Are you from India? We said proudly, I'm from India. I was grinning from ear to ear. You know, people did not uh, believe we were from India because we looked different. You know, we were so proud. And so many world, so many world travelers also took pictures. Akam Naite, one of the officials in the uh, Consulate General of India Office, New York. He is now posted in Havana, Cuba. And that was a very proud moment for us. I invited many of our Manipuri brothers and sisters. Uh, I think most of them could not come because of some sickness or with kids. So whoever came, we were there. We walked that whole uh, 10 streets where you're so proud of everybody. Uh, I should say it was a big thing for us. And everybody knew where Manipur was, you know. Usually nobody knows where is Manipur. They, they would ask, are you from China, Vietnam? I'm really proud to say that we put, you know, the Northeast on the map. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I did share some of the pictures as you were talking because, uh, you know, for most of the parade, uh, which we see representing India, uh, I think it's uh, one of the first here, which I have seen, you know, um, representation of Manipur and the Northeast and with all your beautiful costumes. Uh, I was so proud that, uh, you know, you guys took the additional effort to go and participate. Um, so thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We even did some small uh, Tabal Chongba, even if it was not a Tabal Chongba music, you know, uh, there was music going on in the Air India tableau like uh, Jay Ho, Jay Ho. So I was telling my other uh, participants, hey, Madhubala, come on, let's do Tabal Chongba, Cha Chongba, Jay Ho, Jay Ho. We just did Tabal Chongba in that midst and people took pictures. <laughs> TV people took pictures, so we were so proud because if you dance, they all ask, where are you from? What are you? You know, we 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 managed to uh, increase their curiosity. You know, even the mainland Indians, they were all taking pictures of us. And we saw the uh, seven women pilot of Air India, you know, the only women pilot. They came and took pictures. We were so proud. I mean, I like <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome that you are sharing this, uh, you know, as the last part of our show. And to end our show, we have one more comment from our listener. And let me just share that before we end today's show. The comment is from Perilee Sam Mayer. Perilee, we love you. Uh, so thankful that you're watching us. And she says, awesome interview. She is the best in connecting reaching out to our Northeast brethren living in United States. I told her to run for outer MP in Manipur. <laughs> and in fact, yeah, it is Hanthi is the one who has introduced uh, me to Perley and, you know, she was such an awesome guest speaker sharing about saying no to corruption and choosing a wonderful career of her own. So, with that, uh, I would like to thank you, Ichi Santi, uh, for taking your time today and sharing about uh, gratitude, gratitude towards uh, the people around you and you have excellent nomination, um, you know, making us, myself, boss and uh, wanting to go and do research on the nominations we have made today. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. Tagatari. <laughs> all right for all our listeners thank you once again and uh, do tune back again for more series of 1001 Thagatjari we want to uh, take the time out pause and talk about Manipur talk about the people of Manipur talk about what inspires us and I believe that this project is going to bring us together and spread positivity have a wonderful wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye